Like in real life, wherever you find any item that you can interact with in real life, they fucking pulse with a neon glowing red corona around them. Um, that's the only that's the only way I know how to get the correct groceries when I go to the grocery store. Man, I hate to I hate to be a bitch, but uh, who designed this room? Okay, so hey, this is a little side room, off an offshoot of the main room. So this is a small alley, side entrance. You come into this room. There's some storage shit here. This staircase that goes up to a loft area. This looks like greenhouse windows. And this is some storage bullshit. For what? For who? What, what is this for? How do you get these boxes in here from this door down there? And then we have a metal grate right here this it, it would seem to me it would just seem to me that if this was a side entrance there would be a door that leads to like the back kitchen or some shit i i hate to be hating on people but that's just fucking dumb the, the level design already is fucking dumb you swear i got my mind what are you waiting for <laughs> Okay, so that was Link. Uh, that was uh, the Ink Lex. Okay, that wasn't bad shooting experience. So I'm going to hit V to pick up the briefcase. Oh man, I blew his brains out all over the place. No one's ever going to believe that he didn't uh, accidentally overdose on cocaine. <laughs> G, lift the body. So you pick him up straight up by the crotch. By the crotch. I can't wait to try out the Slater. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm Proto Dead, and thank you for joining me for another Let's Try Out video. Today we're going to be trying out a game called The Slater on Steam. And I literally know nothing about this game other than I got it on Humble Bundle for next to nothing. And we're going to fire it up and see what this game is like today. Uh, I think it's maybe a first-person shooter. Maybe it's a third-person shooter. Let me turn everything down just a little bit. Okay. That was quick. I like the level of detail in this guy's face. I mean, it doesn't look real complex, but it is kind of a... Uh, he looks like he's got the uh, John McClane wife beater shirt on and the fucking the rough and gruff like I've got a take care of business I'm an ex-cop who got kicked off the force for doing things the right way or whatever so we're gonna click uh, new game um, slow enemy reactions slow global alert fast no tutorial additional enemies oh fuck I don't know man I'm gonna go easy because I don't know what the game is I'm guessing now it's like a third-person shooter maybe it's like trying to be like hit hitman maybe it feels like it's a uh, a little bit like Hitman. I like that color shift like that. It's like I'm on drugs. Oh, he is a detective. He's like Max Payne. Oh no, it's a sheet with ketchup underneath it. Let me guess. Every cliche imaginable. He's still haunted by the case that he can't solve, which killed his ex-wife or his daughter. He was so close to finding the murderer, couldn't prove it. Got himself kicked off the force. Uh, 
not trying to make fun of the game. I'm just. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to BTT News. I'm David Hoffman. It has been a year since the highly addictive designer drug D Pain started gaining popularity. Over the past year, the DEA has worked on finding the producers behind this drug, but have so far been unable to find any suspects. It seems the DEA is unable to stop this drug from spreading over the country, and it won't be long, they believe, before it spreads over the entire planet. The police still believe that the murder of DEA agent Ben Slater is related to d -Pain. Slater was found shot to death in his own driveway. The police have no clue or suspects at this time, and it has been over a year since Slater was murdered. At the time, d -Pain was new on the market, and Slater was the lead investigator of the drug. Police say they have also found two d -Pain drug dealers dead very lately, but also have no suspects on that case. Some believe it is other drug cartels. Others believe... Someone has taken the law into their own hands, and that they're cleaning the streets. Will there be more dead drug dealers, or will d -Pain continue to spread over the world? The next few months so, will show us. There's only two options. David Hoffman, BTT News. Is anybody listening to me? I like how the cigarettes are just generic cigarettes. Mark Slater. Mark, we have a new lead. Get ready for your next assignment. Okay. It's interesting. <laughs> so this guy even looks like a uh, hitman. I wonder if he's got a barcode on his neck. Mad Marcos, 2005. Shit. This game takes place even further ago than uh, Stalker. Man, there's a whole lot of exposition and a whole lot of setup. Do I finally get to start playing the game? Uh, if the camera zooms into his head and I take over, I'm gonna fucking punch my monitor. <laughs> okay, Mark, this is a breakthrough, a major step in finding the deep pain source. A private gang meeting is taking place at Mad Marco's bar tonight. The gang is linked to narcotics. The leader and the bar owner are in on it. They're both D-Pain dealers and convicted criminals. The owner of the bar is Marco Daler, alias Big D. He has a private office in the back of the bar where he sells drugs. The gang leader's name is Lex Ryder. He's also known as the Ink. You should recognize him by the tattoos on his face. Lex has a briefcase with him. We believe the briefcase holds confidential documents of the d -Pain. That briefcase is our only lead in figuring out who's producing d -Pain and who murdered your father, Mark. Your job is to kill both those drug dealers and retrieve the briefcase from Lex. Good luck, Mark. Okay, well, I'm glad I've got a captain of the police force that is uh, my uh, M and Q and all that. Okay, so i got to kill Lex Inc. Rider. And he's got Doomsday tattooed on his face, and he's got some neck tats. Okay. And then Marco, Big D, he's got a bit of a widow's peak, and he's got eyebrows that match the profile. Well, no problem. And I got a retrieve a briefcase. Looks like uh, your standard bullshit plated steel briefcase. Okay. So, what's in my inventory? I got unarmed black gloves, and I've got handgun. I've got leather jacket. Okay. And this is the map. Oh, it's a live map. There's people moving around and shit. Mm-hmm. We gotta click on the buttons to move the map around. So we don't know what's at the uh, question mark. Alright, I'm gonna hit continue. Okay, so it's a first person. 
Assess the briefing menu at any time by pressing the B button. Okay. So the mini map is always up. Approach the bar entrance and I can run with the sprint button. Okay. Left shift. C to crouch. Hey, nice bike. They're all exactly the same. These guys are brothers. You are not allowed to enter the bar. Guards will raise an alarm, open aggressive fire, and hunt you down. If you don't obey them, find another way in. No problem. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. So there is some steam coming up from the uh, sewer pipe. Okay, for the first playthrough, it's recommended you continue along the road. Oh, well, fuck that. It's not bad. Some dirt, some dirty guitar shit. Tutorials are disabled. Why? I didn't hit hard. Don't fucking disable a tutorial. You fuck. So, Q and E uh, does a little sidestep motion. Hey! Um... <laughs> Key cards always, like in real life, whenever you find any item that you can interact with in real life, they fucking pulse with a neon glowing red corona around them. Um, that's the only that's the only way I know how to get the correct groceries when I go to the grocery store is I just pick up all the items that have the glowing, pulsating red corona around them. So we're in a restricted area. Man, I hate to I hate to be a bitch, but uh, who designed this room? Okay, so hey, this is a little side room, off an offshoot of the main room. So this is a small alley, side entrance. You come into this room. There's some storage shit here. This staircase that goes up to a loft area. This looks like greenhouse windows and this is some storage bullshit for what for who what what is this for how do you get these boxes in here from this door down there and then we have a metal grate right here this it, it would seem to me it would just seem to me that it's, if this was a side entrance there would be a door that leads to like the back kitchen or some shit. I, I hate to be hating on people, but that's just fucking dumb. The, the level design already is fucking dumb. So I moved the grate and the grate just disappears up into the sky. Okay. And then now we're in a warehouse storage area that looks like it's out of a video game. Not practical at all. Real life storages don't look like this. You just worry about my money. Oh. Well, go ahead. What are you waiting for? I told you, I'll get the job done. It's what I do. You just worry about my money. So, how do I pull out my gun? Blowback operated semi-automatic 9mm handgun silencer enables extremely quiet shooting experience. Okay. But how, though? How? Okay, so right click pulls the gun out. Beer. All employees, access code to warehouse has changed. <laughs> to 144. Okay, guitar player performing tonight. Uh huh, okay. So, that's the type of thing people just post up on the board. I'm not trying to hate on the game. I haven't even fucking played it yet. 
Doors locked. Okay. Why is there a an Ohio dry like license plate up here? Bar security. Okay, so I just changed my clothes that fast. No problem. Here's the kitchen. And I'm going to... Missing the key card. What, I can only use the key card once? Limited security key card. Open some of the key card reader doors in the bar. Some of them. But not this one. Okay. Well. I want to shoot this guy. So, why are there plates down on the ground that make noise when I walk on them? So the yellow guys are, uh, on the mini-map, the yellow guys are the barkeep. I swear I got my mind. What are you waiting for? Okay, so that was Link. No, that was uh, the Ink Lex. Okay, that wasn't bad shooting experience. So I'm going to hit V to pick up the briefcase. Oh man, I blew his brains out all over the place. No one's ever going to believe that he didn't uh, accidentally overdose on cocaine. <laughs> G, lift the body. So you pick him up straight up by the crotch. <laughs> uh, can I just drop him again with G? Yeah. So I'm going to hit G. I'm going to grab him by the crotch. We're going to take him to a dark corner. I mean, he's probably fine right where he was at. Tell you the truth. Oh, so I've only got six bullets left with seven backup. So 13 bullets totally you get to start the mission with. Okay, so his head clips into the uh, into the wall, and I'm pretty sure the guy he was talking to on the phone is still talking, worried about his money. Okay. So since I got the security gig on, Does that mean I'm just going to be able to walk in here? Wait, what's my mission again? I gotta kill Marco the Big D. Okay, I'm gonna change into the waiter. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, can I interact with the guitar? Nope. No interactions with the guitar. Okay, so we got a stripper pole. What kind of club is this? Oh, okay. So if you get close to somebody, you can choke them with the left mouse click. Area off hey. limits, pal. Oh, okay. Loud and clear. I don't see the guy here. So what does that mean? Oh, okay. The hell? Break utility box. Oh, okay, so the mini map shows you where an activity can be. It says Huh. Second floor. 
wonder if he's on the second floor. Shit. Okay, so I can run around like a chicken and nobody cares. What's up? Okay. Man? Yo. So we don't <laughs> we have zero sound on this guy's guitar. It's like I opened that door and all the sound quit except for my foot. There we go. So all these guys are like the same, the same like uh, bikers. Okay, that guy's got a key card around his neck. A guy in here taking a whiz ass. You see his wiener? No, I don't think so. Hey, cigarette butt. Well, that was a quick choke. That was a real quick choke. So I'm gonna hit G to pick up his body by the crotch, and then I'm gonna F hold F uh, hide the body in here. Okay, so yeah, this is very much like Hitman, near as I can tell, which isn't a bad thing. It is. It is does seem like a relatively cheap and simple game so far, which is okay too, but. Uh, is this all that the hole upstairs has to offer? Hmm. I mean, I have got to find the owner guy. Where is he at? Yep. He fell into my trap, fool. Okay, so I just took that key card. That is a waiter key card. Opens the doors leading to the backstage of the bar. I'm going to hit G to lift the body by the crotch again. And I'm going to put it in this cupboard. Oh, his neck is fucked up. Oh, he's dead. Like, I choked him dead. Oh, yeah, okay. What's up, man? What, what's up, man? What's up? Let's see if I can open this thing up. I'm missing the key card. That's a bunch of bullfuck. Okay. Is it possible? Is it possible that uh, Marcos could be back behind here? No, this is the kitchen. Why does it sound like flies everywhere? Okay, so I've been here before. Ah! Oh, let me go over here. Nothing. 
shit. Oh, okay. Well, let me uh, just go change clothes again, I guess. Put on my Clark Kent disguise real quick. Oh, I can't open that. Oh, man. I should have changed body. It should have changed clothes off of that body earlier. Hmm. Thing left to do now. He's dead. Oh no. Shit. Let's see if I can change. No, can't change clothes with the uh, old Inky. Oh shit! <laughs> nice work, 007. Nice work. You're a real solid snake out there. <laughs> real solid snake. Uh, okay. <sighs> kind of thought that I was going to be able to kill him faster than that. Okay. Okay, Mark. This is a break. Cool. Got it. Let's try that again. I'll continue on down the street. Uh, not allowed into the bar. Got it. Continue along the road, which I have. Go to the alley. Here I have. Hopped onto the alley. Trash. There's trash everywhere. Oh, look at this guy. Uh, enemies can be very carry useful items and can be killed when isolated. If a dead body is found, the guards will raise an alarm. Remember to hide the bodies. Continue. Okay. Choke the D-Pain junkie. Oh, good thing he stood up nice and erect for me. Okay. B to pick the keys. I took something. Let me hit B. Inventory. I picked a key. Okay. G, grab him by the crotch, and I bet you I put him in a dumpster. Yeah, just like in Payday 2. <laughs> His fucking eyes looked bloodshot and dead. Nice. So, I've got a key to get into what? No. So we're going to climb. Okay. Run by holding down left shift and jump by pressing space. Oh, I've done it. I almost broke my legs. You won't need legs where you're going. Okay. You get a big running start. Jump. And I made it. Crouch by holding C. Cool. Um, move great by holding F or pressing F. Okay, holding C, crouching F again. Boom. We're in a restricted area. Don't let enemies see you in a restricted area without proper clothing or they will raise the alarm. Okay. Select the handgun inventory by pressing the tab. Okay. I don't want to shoot the gang member.
Oh man, he bled all over the place. Dressed as a gang member. Okay, I have to change clothes. I could have put my clothes on him. G left the body by the crotch. <laughs> the old crotch grab. Okay. Locate Lex the Ink Rider. I can do it this time. Don't pull your gun out when someone sees you. Okay, so when someone sees me, don't pull my gun out. Got it. Go downstairs. Loud and clear. I'm going to walk this way. Employees only. Get oh. Gotcha. Follow Lex the Ink Rider. I don't know where he's... Oh, there he is. He was downstairs earlier. How close do I need to follow him? Okay. So, even though I'm dressed as a... Uh, as an employee, I mean, uh, dressed as a biker, I don't get to go there. Find another way in, dude. Uh, so I gotta wait for this employee to come down here and I gotta blast his ass. Okay. I got this. Oh, he's coming. I can see him on my mini-map. They will never notice all the blood. Press B to pick the key card. And uh, lift. Now I'm going to leave the body because I'm going to change clothes later. Or should I change clothes now? No. Okay. Should be dressed as a waiter to go through here. Well, that's too bad. You can't do everything. You can't dress as a waiter. I need to go find the, uh, Biker gang clothing is what I need to do. Right here. Missing the key card. Uh, which I found someplace else. Where did I find it? One, four, four. I am in the ye old restricted, restricted area. Where was the glowing key card? It was in here, wasn't it? Oh, shit. Give me that fucking briefcase, you son of a bitch. Give me some of this cocaine to go with it. Okay, bottled spark brown here. Oh, we can hide the body in there. I don't want to hide the body. Well, I guess I need to because I can't taste clothing. He is one dead motherfucker. Okay, so we need to find the glowing key card so I can dress as a uh, security guard. Oh, yeah, this way. How do I do it? Can't get up there. Well, 
Oh shit. Nah, I'm sure that key card was right there. How come it's not there this time? Fuck. Locate Marco. What does he look like again? All right, switching to the waiter. What's that gonna do me? <laughs> okay, so I can't hop the bar apparently. Cool. Area okay. off limits, pal. Okay, so that area is off limits. Oh shit. Motherfucking electricity. I'll go check it out. Hey Rita, turn on the backup generator. Turn on the backup generator. I got that guy's uh, security card, grab him by the crotch. Oh, my waiter suit fell to the floor. That's new. Okay, so very linear. If linear. Uh, apparently there's only one way to solve this whole equation. So now I'm dressed as a security guard. Hey man, you okay? Yo, what's up, diggity? Homie, G-Dog, Funk, Funky Whisker Biscuit. Okay, and then there's a security key card there. And that might be the one to open up the dough. Open up the dough. Okay. And that's this dough that I was thinking of. And this one's the one that's gotten the security guard up from earlier that I was looking for, I was trying to get, so I'm good. This is the only room that's brand new I haven't been in. So, I'm thinking through these doors over here. Busy. No entrance. Okay. Well, then that means I need to go over here and sneak in. It's a lot of alcohol. Bathroom. Okay, so where's the grate? I'm gonna open this door. Go on, take a blow. Oh, vamos a la playa, pendejos. Híjole, that's a good one, man. Can they see me through the window? Oh, okay, so my target is glowing red on the mini-map. Get your stuff and get the fuck on out of here. 
Mm. Even treats his business propositions as uh, pieces of shit. Okay. Cool. Shoot Marco through the uh, window. Really? You can't see me? Boom. Blew his fucking brains out. Get back to the car. Maybe I want to pat him down. Maybe he's got something in his pockets. After a gun battle erupted onto busy streets. One police officer was killed and four others hospitalized after a law enforcement sting operation went horribly Bulletproof glass, it says. No problem. And the killer politely closed the door behind him. And now I've got to get back to the car. The boss Hold is it. busy. No entrance. The boss is busy. Well, now i got to figure out how to get the fuck out of here. Get back to the car. Maybe it's this way. Here's the one door exit. See ya. Everything good? Peace out, Mad Marcos. And we hit the exit, just like in Payday 2. Okay, it took me 15 minutes to do that time. Continue. Now what happens? In the plot thickens. I got it, Jacob. The D pain documents. Excellent. We're finally getting closer. Come on, let's go inside. Let me just hop this curb. Okay, Listen I can't. Up, do, I can't do it no more. Okay, um, we're gonna transition into reading the words of the developer right now. As you guys know, a Let's Try Out video is a part Let's Play. There's going to be some commentary in here, a part tutorial you learn as I learn as I play the game, and part first impressions, because a lot of these games I've never played before. And uh, you get to go through, step through all the problems that I step through, and, and hopefully we come out the other side learning a little bit. And kind of a part review, because I try to rehash a little bit of my opinions at the end of the piece. After we read the words of the developer, we can try to make a decision whether they're shoveling us a load of bullshit or if they're spot on honest and it seems to make a lot of sense with what they're trying to, uh, the product that they're trying to produce. And if you want to spend your hard earned money on it, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to give you an honest presentation of the first 30 minutes or so of a video game really is. That way we can make a sound judgment on it. So let's read the words of the developer. The Slater, get ready to kill drug dealers, crime bosses, and anyone who stands in your way as you seek revenge for your father's murder. The Slater is a story-driven first-person stealth action puzzle game that puts you in the shoes of a former cop, Mark Slater. So far, the reviews are mostly positive, surprisingly. We got 500 of them on Steam since this game's release date in 2018 by Lania. Uh, Lania, Lania Interactive. This is a action, violent, indie, gore, nudity, stealth, first person, action, shooty game. Uh, that <laughs> uh, doesn't have a Metacritic, Metacritic score on here, and uh, this is a single player only game. Now is your chance to eliminate everyone involved with your father's murder and anyone who had anything to do with the new designer drug D-Pain. Be prepared to assassinate your targets one by one. Use stealth-based tactics to get the upper hand on your enemies and take them out. Think of your enemies as puzzle pieces. How do you get past the guards? Who do you kill and how? Think carefully before you make your move or you're the one ending up dead. The Slater is brought to you by Alessandro Lania, the sole man behind Lania. Lena, 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 Lena Interactive. 
Some of the key features are explore atmospheric environments and gather information on your enemies, kill a guard and obtain their clothes, blend in, play smart. Use your environment to your advantage, observe and create distractions to lure enemies, kill them and obtain their clothes, carry their bodies and hide them, pick up useful key cards and access codes, climb ladders and crawl through ventilation shafts to surprise your enemies, multiple ways to approach your targets, seek for an opportunity and use your bare hands or a silenced handgun, six unique levels with dark atmosphere and multiple objectives, complete the objectives in any order you like. Rating system and possibility to complete all levels without killing anybody but the guards. Story driven. Who is producing the new designer drug and who mur murdered your father? Cinematic and atmospheric cutscenes. Stealth in the truest sense. Think your next move carefully. No checkpoint saving and loading. Failure is not an option. Once you set off an alarm, the guards will hunt you down until you are dead. Um, I agree with everything that they uh, that they say here. Lania, Lena, Lena Interactive. I agree with the way that they're describing the game. That's exactly that's pretty much all that was in the game was uh, two or three targets, uh, a small open world. It seemed to be very linear in the in the in your approach on the first level at least. There wasn't much to it. Very very simple. Uh, you have your hands to choke people and you shoot people. And uh, and uh, it's 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 a lot like hit hit hitman, but uh, it seems to be that there's not a whole lot of AI. There's not a whole lot of uh, variances in the AI and the behavior. Um, personally, I don't think the game is worth ten dollars currently on Steam. I bet you if you find it on deep discount, it could be a, a, an okay thing to load up and play with and, and laugh at or whatever, and make fun of a little bit. Um, it seems like the uh, the game makers taking it a little bit too serious. But hey. If it was only if it's only one guy making the game, and this is he he made this all. I don't know if these are asset flips. Um, I don't know what game engine this is being created in. If it's uh, Unity or if it's uh, Unreal or whatever. Um, so I don't I don't know much about uh, asset flipping. I, I don't know if this guy created all this stuff from scratch. But uh, <clears throat> I mean, if he did, man, good on him. He did a good job. He's, he's got a functioning video game. Uh, with the small scope, just don't uh, don't expect to get uh, Hitman 4 sort of experience out of this $10 title on Steam. So take take that for what you will. I personally won't be spending any more time with it. I have been Proto Dead. Thank you for sticking with me this long, and I'll catch you on the flip flop. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. And since you're here, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Sound off in the comments below about any other opinions that you might have. I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe for future content. Share my video with a friend if you can. It helps me out a whole lot. This is Proto Dead saying I'll see you in the future.